So we're heading out to our next job and I am so excited to take care of it for you guys. I can't wait to film there. Hopefully there is something to share. Probably going to use the Cymex machine. The Cymex machine is all ready and raring to go and it is a square footage destroyer. It will eat square footage like no other machine. Super, super love that beast. So we're going to get in, we're going to get to filming, we're going to get over to it and look forward to sharing it. Alrighty, so we're on this one. Right there is one of the major spots of concern. I don't see too much of an issue. It should come out with uh, the end cap product we're working on. All right, let's get to this. This one's very dirty today. Just doing basic maintenance on this one. Hitting hallways, hitting traffic, and we're actually going as fast as possible through it. So, twist it around a couple of times. So you may be wondering why we're using this instead of a floor machine. That was pretty simple. Cymex is the fastest machine I own. But, it is by far the heaviest. So, starting out your business, I would recommend getting a floor machine, a standard floor machine. Don't complicate your lives with trying to think that you got to get the biggest, the baddest, the best starting out. Because you don't. Sorry, I had a bit of a technical issue there. Wasn't a big deal. Just wasn't wanting to dispense the water very quickly. So I had to make quick adjustment. It is six degrees outside right now. Wind chill negative 14. I'm nice and cozy in here doing my work. Nice and easy. Just hitting the traffic areas. And the significant spots, we're not doing anything major. Because I've done this building so much, I can tell you right now, I need to move my cord over to here. Okay, there it is, right there in all of its glory. Um, let's see how the machine does on it. Yes. Right now we're going to be using the Cymex and our chemical that we're testing. So now we're behind the Cymex, let's see how this does. No pre-spray, it's hitting it totally dry. Just what's in the tank. Go ahead and put down a pretty significant amount of solution. And of course, I'm completely out of cord, so I can't work it as far as I want to. 
I'm going to go ahead and reverse the rotation of the Cymex, hit it from another angle. Still a tiny bit more. I actually think it would come out way faster with a 175 because I could lean down on the corner of the machine. But I would say that is gone, guys. Yeah, that asphalt's completely gone. Or whatever it was. I was told road tar, asphalt, undercoating. Right, finish out this room. with no pre-spring that's just using what's in the tank so let's see how it turned out let's check that out look at that and it's almost dry already so the solution we're working on and that we've come up with is so unique compared to the other products on the market um there's really nothing that's going to compare it, it, it it's ultra unique super proud of it can't wait for it to hit the general population yet to decide how we're going to sell it and who we're going to sell it for through and who we're not going to sell it through but we are going to release it we got the labels and the um, trademarks around and all that and we're we're soon going to release it see it's all about labor savings that's what my number one goal is. I'm out in this field having to work with the rest of you guys. I don't want to be working all that hard. If I can come up with chemical that doesn't require as much labor and makes carpet look significantly better, that's what we're going to do. And that's our number one goal is making things easy for you guys. So, all right. I think that's pretty impressive. One last look. Look at that, nothing left. It's how it'll look on Monday, it's how it'll look on Tuesday. It's not gonna come back. You won't have to worry about it ever coming back. And that's just with brushes under a Cymex machine and ultra good chemistry. Alrighty guys, we're in a different section of the building. We didn't film this whole place, mostly because it's huge. Um, 36,000 square feet, which I consider to be big. It's one of my biggest that I, do maintenance at every week every month and um we're gonna be hitting this square here it's a stand here not there square and you know i'll film it at a couple of angles for you um i try to film as much as possible but it doesn't always work out hopefully you guys can see that Sorry, bad camera guy. Now, you gotta remember, if I'm not pre-spraying, which I didn't put anything down on it first, I gotta get it moistened out with the Cymex, which is gonna take me a little longer. Put down enough agent that it's actually getting to what we call a durable foam. See, that's what's a durable foam. And you'll see in the literature when we release the literature unlike other end caps it doesn't have an instant whitening effect and it's not supposed to we don't use all the same um we don't use the same type of catalyzing agent or polymerizing agent in fact it's very reliant on water to get to be a dry brittle in fact that's one of the keys is that it won't 
become a dry brittle until it's already been exposed to water. So it's pretty awesome. Different technology than anybody else, I can tell you that. Different method, different chemistry. Secret, secret, secret awesomeness. As I said, hopefully March, if not sooner. It's already out when I release this video because I normally film a few months in ahead. It'll be right here. And you'll already know what it is because I'll already have talked about it on our Facebook group and elsewhere. Because it's amazing. Go ahead and snatch up my multi-angle camera. So for you guys that are looking for cheap little cameras, these little Ahsokas are pretty decent. Um, I'm recording this on a GoPro Hero 8 right now. I've been asked quite a bit what the camera gear is that I use and... Oh man, I have a conglomerate. I'll someday have to make a video on my camera gear just for you guys because... I have a lot of it at this point. I'm not able to bring multiple people. I don't bring multiple people. It's part of why I really like this job. Because I don't have to have fuzz for the pocket. Um, I don't have to have, you know, 25 employees. And I can make a really good living just by myself with my wife and kids and yeah, I bring my sons with me to help sometimes, but it's not necessary for them to come with me every time. My goodness. I'm going to have to wipe out from under my machine. The second I get near one of the bathrooms, there's a trash can. All right, so you guys get the picture. Okay guys, so we're wrapping this one up. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah, I know it's a smaller video, but more than a lot to do here. And as always guys, think it through.